Hello Battlefoam fans, we are releasing another amazing product here and many of you have asked for this for many 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 months now. How to transport extremely large models, Forge World in particular. When you're dealing with models like the Thunderhawk, when you're dealing with models like the new Reaver Titans and some of the outrageous things that are made by even Armorcast, it's very difficult to fit those in anything that exists out there today. So, like anything else, Battlefoam always listens to you guys. I'm always have my ears to the internet, I have my ear to all of your emails, listening to everything you ask for. In this regards, I listened very attentively last year at Adepticon and took almost eight months developing something that would make a lot of sense. Now, what I'm about to show you is going to knock your socks off, so hold on. This is a gigantic bag. This bag, ba boom, as you can see, is a monster. This thing is made for Titans. We we're going to call it the Titan bag, but that sounds ridiculous. So we decided to call this the Pack Max. It doesn't even fit in this video because it's so ginormous. But the best part about it is that this thing will haul anything you own. Everything from the Bio Titan to any of the gigantic flyers from, uh, from uh, Eldar to obviously the Thunderhawk, which is an unbelievably hard model to transfer. And to prove this, let's decipher through this bag. Now, cool thing about it is, First of all, durability. You're not going to take an $800 model and transport it in garbage. And you're not going to do it in a plastic bag. And you're obviously not going to fit in anything that's made of plastic currently out there. So, how do we combat the normal build of the bag? How about add wood? This case actually has a wood top and a wood bottom. Now, this is a very thin wood, obviously, because you don't want to be carrying around a 2x4 everywhere. But this is still extremely durable. This is even more durable than our normal packs because our packs have a hardened plastic interior. This actually has a wooden top and a wooden bottom. So when your clips hold on to the product, it's going to have a rigid build all the way around it. The other cool thing, if you notice underneath, the bands actually go all the way around. So there's no actual stitching that holds the weight of the models. It's the band itself because it wraps all the way around. So when you're holding it like this, it's not holding from a seam, it's holding from the actual straps wrapped underneath. A very, very cool little feature. Now, obviously you can undo that there. You have a cool place so you can throw your information. If you're going to check this through luggage, it will fit on an airplane. It's easily handleable by the baggage people, so it's going to get there safe for you. And again, when top's going to make sure it's going to be safe. Now, let's open this baby up and see what we got in here. Now, we're going to release all types of pre-made trays for this. And obviously, like anything else that we do, we'll be able to offer custom work. Now, custom work, I'm not going to lie to you, is going to be a bit expensive because of the amount of foam that this thing can hold. But if you're willing to protect your stuff, price is no option considering how much hours and time you've spent on, on actually building those models. Now, let's open this baby up. I'm going to pop this back. Wood, right? I'm going to pop this baby open. And I'm just going to tip this over to kind of show you just an idea of what's in here. Without it flipping over, yep, it's a Thunderhawk, guys. We are able to fit full-size Thunderhawks in here. Now, along with Thunderhawks, no space is ever left undone. So, I'm going to try to go over here so I can show you this. You can fit up to an additional three drop pods in here. You will get spacers with everything. We'll pull these drop pods out for you. There you go. No, I don't glue my drop pods close. It's ridiculous. If you're doing that, you're not taking your time modeling. So, show you another one there. One more at the bottom. You have to reach in there and get these babies out. Now, along with that, you can fit up to four Land Raiders in here. So now you're talking about, in this case alone, you got four Land Raiders, three drop pods with spacers, of course. Now, I don't play Space Marines too often, so I only have one built Land Raider. That's kind of almost blasphemy, but that's okay. And going over here, Rhinos. I'm going to pull out not one, not two, not even three, but four rhinos out of here, and that's because that's all I got right now. It can actually hold five rhinos in here. So you're talking about already five rhinos, three drop pods, spacers of course, four land raiders, and your thunderhawk. So now, here's the other cool thing about it. Let's say you didn't want to just make this case usable for just your thunderhawk and a few of these models. Well, guess what? You can remove this layer of foam and actually replace it with a replacement sheet that's two inches big. So now what that allows you to do is if you look, the Thunderhawk is still safe in there. 
But along with the Thunderhawk being safe, now you've added a bunch of room that you can throw standard troop trays in. You guys know our troop trays? You can fit in here, you know it, six more troop trays. Imagine if those are 72 troop trays. You're talking about hundreds of models being transported in this guy. Now obviously the troop trays aren't the exact same size, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to be tipping this thing sideways and upside down, so it will hold a ton of models. Now let's remove these guys, get them out of the way. Let's say maybe you want to throw a vehicle tray in there. Guess what? A four-inch vehicle tray fits no problem. So now you can expand your amount of models even more because you can fit two of these vehicle trays. So let me give you an idea. This tray, one of our standard trays you can buy right now, has three rhinos in it. Obviously you can see it has some dreadnoughts, speeders, predator, vindicator. You can do two of those, one, two, plus your drop pods that we talked about earlier, plus a few more rhinos, plus land raiders. So in here you can easily hold 10,000 points of models. I mean very easily if you did it right. So moving this aside, get that all of our way, let's look back at the Thunderhawk again. Pulling out the Thunderhawk so you can see it's a real forgeable Thunderhawk. I'm going to pull this baby out, put it right here and really show you the makeup of this bat. As you can see, you have a great cavity that's already been designed to fit the Thunderhawk, so no tracing necessary. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go put up in the next several weeks a bunch of the larger model tracings that are going to be already designed for you. So you're just simply going to pick a kit and done, out the door. It's going to make it very easy so you don't have to trace a Bio Titan, you don't have to trace a Vampire, you don't have to trace a Reaver or any of the Warhounds. We're going to have all of those for you. The cool part about it is the new Stampa that came out for Oryx, guess what? You'll be able to do at least three of those babies in here. So you're talking about three of your Stampas can easily be carried in one bag, plus a ton of boys and everything else you can think of. So, like anything else, Battle Foam listened, and we're here to make things right for you guys to carry all of your models. And as you can see, moving this guy aside now, we have moved just in that little case right there, this right here with room to spare. So when you consider what's out there currently, which is nothing, and then you consider what this case can do for you, it will perfect your transportation needs and it will make these kind of models easy and safe to transport. So check it out on our website. Now one thing very important to understand is these are limited edition items. These packs were not going to mass produce. These are going to be by order basis. So when you call us to order this, we're going to take your pre-order. We're going to make it for you. By the way, these release December 1st. The pre-orders are up on our site right now. But the cool thing about the site is that you'll be able to order the foam. We'll get started on that for you. We'll already get working on the production of the bag. So when the foam is done, your bag will be ready. They'll get put together out the door for you. We're looking at a turnaround of three to four weeks on these. Now, mind you, it's a huge piece of foam, a lot of design time in it, and they have to be made from scratch. We're not going to inventory these. So, Keep that in mind when you're ordering that you're going to have a window. So people that are getting ready for Adepticon, be ready. Get ready ahead of time. Get these things now. Get a call into us to talk about the models you need to hold, and we'll make it work for you. More than likely, if it's a model that we haven't decided to do yet, if we have enough feedback from you guys on it, we'll get working on those sooner than later. So keep that in mind. Now, like I said, check out the website. Pre-orders are starting uh, tomorrow. So as soon as you see this, actually it will be November 13th. I think we actually will put them up on the website. And you'll be able to order from there. Now, they will deliver December 1st. They're going to go out. So anything else you guys need, call us. Thank you so much. The new Pack Max.